Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to the brand new spin-off series of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, this is going to be kind of a mini-series because I do not actually plan on playing this entire game. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is a fun game that I decided to get so that I can play it with my friends online. I did have the PS4 version, but I've, I've now have the Switch version because I heard it's all updated and stuff. So I'm going to just warn you guys now. All of the all of these stories right here, I don't think I'm going to play them because I'm not... I'm not versed in those stories. I've never watched the anime up to that point. I only know these two stories. So we're going to be doing those right now. And of course, we're going to see, uh, yes, Y button. Let's play as normal duel. The Duelist Kingdom, loading Yu-Gi-Oh! histories. Okay, basically, Yugi goes to high school, and this high school, people like to play card games in, uh, in between classes, even if they do go to class. And then, yeah, Joey's learning how to play. Taya beats Joey. It's pretty funny. And now we're going to use the story deck because I just bought this game, so that means I don't have any cards. Even though I know about this game, I uh, well, because I have the PS4 version, uh, I don't know... Yeah, I don't know how well it's going to play, so I always like to go first, personally. If I can go first, it's best. Even though in this game you only get five cards, it's not like my Tag Force Let's Play, where you get... Why the hell do I have these cards? What the hell? They did not have these cards! Well, maybe Man Eater Bug, but they did not have these cards in the freaking first duel. Is this just like a test duel? Is that why? Okay, when a monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, target two face-up monsters in the field, shove those targets into the deck. Okay, you can go down there. Uh, you can go down there. You, if your opponent controls two or more face-up monsters uh, of the same attribute, you can special summon this card. Interesting. And then it says you can target one face-up card on the field that targets effects that are negated during this time. And, well, oh my god. So, I don't like these new cards with all their long effects. That's why I kind of like to stick to the old stuff. Blazing Impachi and Man Eater Bug, that's old. I get that stuff. And that makes me happy to see it. And now that I look at it, this game looks really different compared to the one on PS4. Like, I am not used to these two things. Uh, I've seen the Pendulum stuff before. I've never used it, but I've seen it. If this card is destroyed and sends the graveyard, target one face of monster your opponent controls, destroy that target, and if you do, flip five. Wow, that's just super good. This ferret is super good. I'm going to go for damage, though, because I don't care about uh, that effect at the moment. Okay, now we're gonna battle. Wow, this game does look super different on the freaking Switch. Look at this. Everything's like zoomed in and like there's... I don't I don't know. Look at it. It's super zoomed in. That's all I know. And everything is easier to read. That's kind of nice. Honestly, this is kind of nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So we will just have to see if it's uh, as good as it feels. Let's see. There, I just put one face down. That's interesting. I could summon you now if I wanted to. Uh, you can target one face-up card on the field, or face-up, so it's not even worth it to begin with. You can come out in the field now. I won't go for double damage, in case, unless that monster has 2,000 defense. I love Mirror Force. I'm glad we get that card already. Although, guys, the deck we're using now is just a de uh, deck we're using for this specific duel. Every duel in this game has different cards. Oh, God, it's Man-Eater Bug. Okay. This Man-Eater Bug has a lot of defense, so that's kind of unfair. This is Snow Man-Eater. Genius. That's a genius name for a card. I've seen it before, but I've never used it. Do, do, do. I've used Man Eater Bug many times in my life, though. Are you going to tribute it? you going to trip? Wow, the AI takes a lot longer in this game. I feel like it wasn't this slow in the other one, but who knows. So, now I'm going to use Dark Hole and go for direct damage. I'm joking. I wouldn't do that. We have, uh, no, nah, I'm, jo I'm not joking. Let's do that. Screw my ferret. We don't need it. Hopefully that face down wasn't anything he can get an effect from. Uh, oh, that card just needs to be destroyed. That is a good effect, Mr. Ferret there. It just needs to be destroyed in general in order to activate its effect. But there was no way to activate it because there were no monsters on the field, so that didn't happen. Okay, Joey, this is a weird duel we're having. I was expecting to duel you with some old school cards and you duel me with some old school cards, but no. These cards are even newer than the ones I'm using in Tag Force 2. And Tag Force 2, some of those cards confuse me. Okay? I'm being honest. Some of those cards do confuse me. Alright, so I could go with Elector, Sovereign of the Birds, Fighting Spirit, the equipped monster gains 300 attack for each monster your opponent controls. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm saving this card for if uh, Joey gets the upper hand, if he gets uh, like a, a bunch of monsters on the field, so I don't care. I don't want to summon him. Unless he did piercing damage, I don't want to summon him. Target one monster your opponent controls, return that target to the hand. Darn, that's annoying. Well... I guess we're both playing with uh, annoying effects, Joey. So go ahead. Come on. Attack me. Do it. I won't mirror force you. I don't have mirror force. <laughs> don't worry about it, Joey. All right. Baby dragon. See, there, there's a there's a card from the past. I know that card. 
Nah, nah, nah. He can have this one. I, I'm not going to hurt Baby Dragon. Are you kidding me? I love Baby Dragon. Joey cards are like my favorite cards in the whole game. So instead of that... Oh, I got the Ninken Dog. I've been using... Well, I used it. It's been... It, it's past its prime. I used it in my uh, Attack Force 2 deck. I used a wind deck with that. It actually did some good work. All right. Now let's go ahead and kill the Baby Dragon the natural way by burning it to death. See, that's a lot more peaceful than using a mirror to destroy it. I want to destroy it myself. I don't want it to be destroyed by some dumb effect that's super broken that I love. Alright, let's see what you got, Joey. Defense card again. Oh my god, this is going to be the whole duel, isn't it? I'm going to summon a monster that's too strong. Uh, Ninken Dog again. Come on. Hopefully this isn't another monster that's like, oh, go back to your hand, or oop, go and get destroyed. Because I have to duel a lot of these people in Tag Force 2 that do that all the time. Mother! I use that card sometimes. How dare you use that card? Now I'm going to have to wait a turn, and it's going to be really annoying, and then you might tribute your monster, and then I might mirror force it. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Hey, what do you know? And I, I know the Fiend Mega Cyber. You should have just let me kill it. I could have uh, could have helped you out there. And then I'm going to Mirror Force it. And look at that. It's like everything I said happened. And no, this game is not scripted. <laughs> this is actually just how the game is played. Weird. So I have enough damage on the field already to kill the opponent. But I'm going to summon this guy just in case. He maybe, maybe he has a Karibo. You don't know. And if he does have a Karibo, he can survive for one more turn. I mean, he had Baby Dragon. Maybe he also has some Yugi cards, even though I'm Yugi. What the f*** is that? Well, hello there. <laughs> okay, so this changes the duel a little bit. I was not expecting Mr... What's your name? Gores. My friend Arturo uses you. I, I've seen this card before. This card is broken. Okay, then. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do I do? When a monster target two face of monster on the field, shove those in the deck. You know what? That might be what I do. Because this Gores guy is even stronger than my, uh, my bird card in my hand. Hopefully this bird card isn't my boss monster in this random deck that is definitely not based off the first duel between Yugi and Joey. Look, in the other game, they they also did a mess up like this in the first duel, but like, I'm hoping they try to play the game normally. What? You didn't summon anything? Ah, crap. That's going to make my trap card a little annoying. Alright, let's go ahead and activate this. Liberty at last. You're going back to the hand, and I have to do two, so you're going back to the hand. Good thing I... Oh, wait. Oh, it was deck. Whoops. I didn't read that. Well, that's good. If it was hand, he would have been able to summon Gores again. Alright, I know I'm about to draw a freaking in Ken Dog, so that's great. Oh, no, it's mixed in the deck. Got it. Alright, we're going to start with the Banner of Courage. And uh, let's go ahead and attack. Let's see what we got. I don't want to summon my big guy, because if I summon my big guy, he might... Oh, it's another battle footballer. Damn it. Damn it, I should have known he had two. Alright, I, I have made mistake. The error has been made. So I should have summoned this guy, but I didn't want to summon him. And then he's like, oh, but this was the bird thing where you have to go back to the hand or man eater bug. But what are the odds he actually drew a monster he could tribute summon? Very low, as we've seen. He, he didn't tribute anything. So what do I get this time? Yes. Okay. Heart of the Underdog it lets me draw another monster or oh, it lets me draw another card because I got a normal monster. Looky, looky. Uh, another normal monster. Come on. Keep them coming. Another normal monster. Yeah, let's do it game. Give it me more, more power. All right, this is getting a little ridiculous. Thank you. And you are going to come in handy because I'm going to try and win the duel this turn. Oh, I can't win the duel this turn. That was a waste of Fisher. My bad. Okay, well, let's... You know what? If I can't win the duel this turn, let's just summon you. Yeah. This time I'm doing it. The only way I would have been able to summon the tur duel this turn, or beat the win the duel, is if this card could have destroyed the face down. But his face down seemed to be beefy, so I'm gonna just go for a Firewing Pegasus. Except when they're not. Oh! And this time it was the card that I was afraid of last time! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The game is playing me. It's like I'm one turn ahead, but because of that, I'm messed up. Okay, so you get a free attack off. Go ahead. Ooh, Axe Raider. That's a, that's a big boy. That is a big boy, and that is a Joey card, so I'm glad you actually got something that's Joey related. Well, maybe I'll draw myself a big boy and kill ya. If not, I'll play defensively. Okay, Supply Squad. I've used this back in the past. Uh, if you control a monster is destroyed, draw one card. Well, if he decides to tribute his monster, that definitely will happen, so we'll see what he does. Luckily, these cave dragons are pretty tanky. Yeah, pretty damn tanky indeed. 
So this first duel is getting a little bit more epic than I was expecting. Battle Logs! That's a freaking Kaiba card right there. I love that. Okay, yep. Do some damage to yourself. I get to laugh. Ha ha ha. And now I get to do... Wait, what? If a monster you control is destroyed... No, that's not going to happen. Uh, you could send one face-up continuous spell card you control to the graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls, destroy that target. That is good for this, this situation. So yeah, why not? Alright, I'm going to do this. Uh, wait, is Supply Squad continuous? Out of curiosity, good. Because that's a card I don't need at the moment. Alright, you can go to hell, and you can go to hell. And does that effect say I can do it multiple times? Oh, this duel's over, okay. I was not expecting it to work multiple times. Goodbye, and goodbye, Joey Wheeler. Now, hopefully, this was just be the tutorial. Because the no the main game is supposed to let you play the story decks. The decks they use during the game, the story of the of the show. So you're supposed to have a bunch of old cards that I understand. I mean, I still won without that, but still, you know, I, I don't want it to be like that. So here we go. The Heart of the Cards. Okay, Heart of the Cards. It is Yugi and his friends went to Grandpa's shop. Yugi wanted to show his friends his grandpa's prize card. His prize card is a freaking blue eyes wide dragon. It's awesome. And then suddenly the CEO of uh, everything, or the CEO of Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever, shows up. He's like, hey, I'm from Kaiba Corp. I want to see your blue eyes. I'm obsessed with blue eyes. I have three of them, and you have the fourth one. For some reason, there's four of them, and only four of them. That's right, only four. They don't ever make more. And then, yeah, 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 he takes the card, and he destroys it, and then he's like, I can't be defeated now. And then Yugi's like, you're a dick. And then Kaiba's like, how dare you call me a dick? <laughs> yeah, see that angry face, uh, that surprise face? And then Yugi transforms using his uh, puberty powers, and he is back. So, we're going to use the story deck again. I don't have any user decks anyway. Be Soul Swap. My friend uh, Jesse Anderson likes to use that. Alright, I'm going to go with... Damn it! <sighs> Kaiba. He paid to see what I was going to do, didn't he? Okay, looks like I'm going second this duel. Not my favorite position. I prefer to be first. So, let's see. Beaver Warrior, Graceful Chair. Oh, I love it. These are the old cards. Look at them. Just look at them, everybody. They just scream uh, the past. Ooh, Trap Card. That scares me. Okay. And if I can get Exodia out, that would be freaking cool. Oh, that's going to help me get Exodia out. All right. Um, more important than anything, let's Graceful Charity. Let's, let's get three cards in our hand. One, two, three. Got some beautiful cards here. You're going to go away. And you are going to go away. And then let's check that face down really quick. Swords revealing light. Show me what his face down is. Soggy the Dark Clown. I can't beat that with what I have. So I'm going to have to do a little bit uh, of an aggressive play. Hopefully that trap card he has isn't something scary. I use Monster Reborn. Thanks to Graceful Charity, I was able to throw away my Rude Kaiser. And now I'm going to be able to resummon Rude Kaiser in attack mode. Why does it let me choose where to place the monster? That's kind of weird. It didn't do that in the other game. Look at this, see? Like, uh, okay, Feral, go way over to the left to make it look weird. It's starting to make me feel like I'm playing uh, False Bound Kingdom again. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and attack Soggy, and it, okay, it was just negate attack, that's fine. Worst case scenario, he'll tribute something, something next, something next turn, like maybe a Sword Stalker, or what other Kaiba cards are five to six stars, I don't know. Sword Stalker's the only one, I, oh shit, he did have it, okay, but what is it? It was Sword Stalker! Oh, damn! <laughs> I am calling it today. And it's the first day, so that's kind of funny. Okay. Well, good thing I played Swords, but now I gotta think. How the hell do I... Oh, well, Heart of the Underdog. If I can get Exodia, I won't have to worry about Sword Stalker. And Mr. Elf will definitely help. But I'm gonna need a powerful monster to get over the Sword Stalker if I want to play aggressively. Alright, so I'm gonna just start with the Mystical Elf in defense mode. And I'm gonna put you in defense mode. And Dark Hole is going to be my ace in the hole if shit hits the fan. I'm not going to play my other guy in defense mode because I'm assuming Kaiba is not going to use MST or Dust Tornado on my swords. He'll just wait it out. That's what they do in the other game. They'll probably do it in this one too. Alright, two turns of swords done. I got to really build up my defenses before uh, the bad stuff happens. Sangan, you are interesting. I like you, Sangan. You know what? I'm going to summon Sangan. Uh, my if I'm if I go for the Exodia strat, then I don't need to worry about my life points. So let's go for the Exodia strat. Sangan, go blow up. <laughs> okay, good good job, Kaiba. But I don't care about your life points. I'm not going for the win. I'm I'm not gonna try and beat you with damage this time around. This time around, I'm going for Exodia. Make sure you get the head of Exodia because the head of Exodia will stop uh, Heart of the Underdog if you draw it. So good to get the head. 
And yeah, that worked out pretty well for me. All right, thank God for Sangam being in this deck. Although I could imagine Yugi using that card. I feel like they do throw in a few cards to help out. I don't know if Yugi had Heart of the Underdog. So I'm assuming they have a few cards to help out. But I like a lot of these old school cards. They make me happy to see them. Oh yeah, we got a leg. Just two more pieces and we can summon the big boy. Torike, what are you doing here? Yeah, that's a weird card to have in the deck. Celtic Guardian, the bro. Man, I loved using him in Falsebound Kingdom. And Karibo, there's a guy who's going to help me stall. All right, Celtic Guardian, you are not going to be used for that. Let's let's put Beaver Warrior down. If I ever use you, Celtic Guardian, I want it to be aggressive. Or you to be aggressive. Okay. And I don't care if I take a little bit of damage, so I'm going to start breaking down his wall here. That way he can't get Blue Eyes out. It Totsumi Giant. Interesting. Well, now if he summons Blue Eyes, he has to get rid of both of his monsters, including his Sword Stalker. Sorry, Torike, you can't be in the deck or the hand. And sorry about that. Oh, I like Winged Guardian of the Dragon uh, of the Fortress Number One. I like his fusion into Kaiser Dragon. It's pretty cool. And another one tribute. What is it? Oh, I forgot he had the Megami card. I forgot about that. Yeah, she's cool. Uh. Oh no no no! I don't want to activate Kuri. I was gonna say, what kind of spell or trap card do I have on the field to save me right now? No, I don't need to do that. Well, that's cool. I get to see two of Kaiba's little weird six-star monsters. Swordstalker seems normal, but this girl, this girl kind of threw me off. Pot of Greed. Oh, that's an old card I never get to use. I love it. And I got Guy the Fierce Knight. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. I could play aggressively. I did say I wanted to go for the Exodia, though, so I don't know if I want to. Plus, I would have to give up my... You know what? We'll play defensively for a second. Just for a second. And if I don't draw Exodia next time, I'll play Egre uh, aggressively, just to see. Um, Celtic Guardian, I love you, but I'll, I'll bring you back with Monster of Born, I promise. Even though I already used the one Monster of Born I had. And I'm guessing you can't have multiples. Ancient Rules! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, that's so cool! Dude! That animation's way better in this game. Alright, that's... Uh, compared to the last game, the last game sucked and it would lag. All right, so Blue Eyes, you're going to be a problem. Sword Stalker, can you attack my my uh, giant? Yeah, there we go. All right, so I can still get Gaia out, but what's the point? If I get Gaia out, he still beats me. So I need to think. Well, Heart of the Underdog would have been useful if I... Uh, yeah, would have been useful. <sighs> looking at things, looking at things. Son of a bitch, I don't even care anymore. Do I care? Because they're going to destroy both of these. And then I'm going to take 2,000 direct damage. To, and you know what? Yeah, I'll take the damage. I'll take the damage. Because I don't know what his face down is. I'm afraid it might be Magic Jammer. And this would have been the perfect time to use Dark Hole. So, but if he keeps that card in his hand, then I run out. I, then he could just Magic Jammer my Dark Hole. Alright, 1800. Goodbye, Beaver Warrior. Thank you for trying to tank for us. Alright, guys. We're kind of putting a lot of our faith. Uh, no, Karibel, you sa uh, saving you. We're putting a lot of our faith in the heart of the cards right now. It was a blue eyes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Kaiba's got two of them. If he gets all three out, I'm leaving. I'll just give him the win because they'll be the exact same th scene from the anime. Even though Kaiba can't summon three blue eyes. That sounds impossible. But he got two of them out. That's pretty... Third heart of the underdog. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, video game. Thank you. Uh, just Dark Hole. I'm not going to let him get all three out. That would kill me. I, don't, I, I actually want to win the duel, if possible. And then Karibo, it would be great if you could just play defensively. Even though it's better to have you in the hand, I actually would like to have more hand space. That way I don't have to throw cards away like I did with my Celtic Guardian, which I'm going to miss. I miss you, Celtic Guardian. Hey, there's a Kaiba card. I'm surprised you don't have Palmer. Oh, you know what? This is the first duel. You might not have him. Rabbit Horseman, you know. All right. Three Heart of the Underdogs. Can I please draw a normal monster? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the game says no. Um, yeah, why not? I, I've put all my faith in the fact that I'm going to draw a p all the pieces of Exodia, so we got to take the risk. Just play it, play it, or play defensively until we get there. I'm guessing Kaiba has a lot of monsters in this deck, so I'm expecting him to summon some. Oh, oh boy! All right, draw. Finally, there's Horn Imp. I used him in F False Battle Kingdom as well. All right, yeah, triple heart of the underdog. We're drawing three cards. So uh, one of them is bound to be a piece, just one. And if I get two in one, that'd be great. Uh-oh, spellbinding. 
Ooh, piece of Exodia. And Sangan. Oh, that timing is so good. Sangan, I am happy to see you right now. I want you to know that. Because the second you die, I win the duel. All I need to do is have Sangan die, and I will win this duel. Unless Kaiba has card destruction, then the game's over. Well, that's fine. As long as he destroys Sangan, it's fine. And as long as he can't do 4,800 damage to me in one turn, we're fine. So, let's see what Kaiba does. Just a face down? You don't want to win the duel? He doesn't seem to want to win the duel. I guess I'll have to draw Exodia myself. Alright, heart of the underdogs all day. Come on. Give me more. Give me more. Yes, giant soldier of stone. You're such a good card from the old days. Three stars and weird... Oh, snatch deal. Damn. Swords. Nice. And that's it, everybody. We have so... Oh, he gets an animation in this game. Oh, that's sick. Look at him. <laughs> oh, obliterate. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good freaking win animation. Okay, this game is good. This is a good game. You fool, Pakaiba. You only summon two out of three blue eyes. There's no way you could defeat me with two. And then Pegasus is like, ooh, Kaiba Boy lost. So that means I need to throw a tournament and take everyone's souls because of reasons that won't be explained for a while. So yeah, that is going to be it, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. This has been the first little mini-series of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX... No, not GX, sorry. That's Tag Force. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Um, I actually have a friend on YouTube that is also playing this game. And I would really appreciate it if you guys could give him your support. His name is Wookie. He's been in many of my Let's Plays. He's, his channel is called Drunken Dragon Animation. I will put it in the description down below. And if you can, please help my friend out. He is a great guy. He's worked on series such as Digimon World 4. He's worked in the Pokemon series on my channel. He's worked in basically the, like, he is literally like my number two guy. He, he works on everything. He is such a hard worker. So, I want to thank you all for watching and see you next time.